Hey everyone, welcome back. Happy New Year. Get ready with me today as I use Saint and Demi and I get ready to take this little one to the vet. What a story. Stay tuned. All right, I'm just going to get ready real quick and I will um, talk as I go. But uh, I have some saint business to talk to today. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be on YouTube this week with what just happened to Tate and how I've been by his side 24-7 since Monday night, Monday the 2nd. Um, so I'll tell you real quick about what happened and then I will tell you some really exciting saint news. Um, so stay tuned. I'm sorry that this is a day late, but like I said, um, I wasn't even going to do YouTube at all this week after what happened. Um, this is my Mac paint pot and painterly. You know how I love that. All right. Monday in, um, North Carolina was an absolutely beautiful day. We had just gotten back from California. We went, to, you know, I'm from California, 44 year native. We went back for Christmas to see Rob's family. My family lives here. And um, it was just gorgeous weather, you know? While the rest of the country was freezing, uh, we were just absolutely loving the California weather. And then we came back and it's been like in the 60s here. It's been so nice. Now, Tate just turned one years old in November. And so, I have not taken him on very many walks because we keep him super active in the house. We're always like running him up and down stairs. We have stairs down to the basement, stairs up to the second level. Uh, we throw the toy, we play tug. We, we really keep him very active. But dogs love to go outside. They love to sniff. They love to learn about their environment and they, they just need the fresh air. That's what I believe. So Monday... At about 4.15, I decided to take him um, on a quick walk, and I'm very careful about the time of day I take him because there are several large dogs in my neighborhood who are usually on their property but not leashed, or they can get loose because they jump the fence, and they scare me. One dog down the street pinned down my last Yorkie. Thank goodness my husband was there and was able to stop anything from getting too aggressive, but he did open his mouth on Lucy's neck and pin her down to the ground into submission. And then for years after that, he was always like on the hunt for her. When he would see her walk by, we'd have to pick her up and walk with her and tell Tiska the dog to stay back or real, get real harsh with her. And, and she would, she would stay away. Um, but it's scary. I shouldn't have to be afraid to walk my own dog in my own neighborhood. So anyway, um, I am out, um, I'm gonna do things a little differently today. I think I'm gonna put bronzer on first. You guys know I like to put my bronzers together so because this is such a big fat brush, but you know what, anytime I try using a smaller brush, I find it puts on the bronzer too heavy or concentrated. Um, I think the reason I really prefer this big, huge brush, look how big that is, it's like half my forehead, is because it really puts it on kind of airbrushed, whereas the other one puts it on more concentrated. I don't know. Anyway, so I take Tate on his walk and we pass a couple dogs, but I, you know, because he's so young, I don't let him really go up to other dogs and those owners didn't let their dog come up to my dog just because he's so little, you know, you just never know with dogs. And we are about three houses away from ending our walk and coming home and some really dear neighbors of ours who we've known for nine years and they're just lovely people and we just adore them. They have two, two large dogs who's never given us problems, ever, 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 never has given us problems. And their light color dog was on a leash and the owner was holding his leash. The kids were in the driveway too. Um, the wife was in the house. So that's the only family member that wasn't in the driveway. Now they don't have a super long driveway. It's kind of, you know, it's a, it's a shorter driveway. So they were standing in the middle of the driveway with the two dogs and, and well, he was with his kids and two dogs. All of a sudden the dark lab mix, it's a lab mix, probably about a hundred pounds and Tate is only 11 pounds. 
kind of locked eyes and started coming over. And you know how when things happen too fast, but also in slow motion. So I'm cautious, but Tate's so excited and his little tail's wagging. He's so excited to meet a new friend. And the dog came up and he growled and Tate growled back. And that was it. It happened so fast. He picked up Tate by the back leg and was shaking him in the air the way like a, a shark shakes its prey outside of water, just violently shaking him back and forth by his back leg. And he is screaming bloody murder and I'm screaming. And the owner froze. I saw it on him. I saw as it happened. I don't know how I locked into him as the dogs were about to fight, but I locked into him and he froze up and it was like, you know, how are you have those nightmares and someone's coming after you and you try to run, but you're frozen. That's what happened to him. And you can't even fault someone for that because sometimes your body is so scared. It locks up and there's nothing you can do to snap out of it. So the dogs were fighting. There's nothing I can do. My dog, I'm like, oh my gosh, my dog's getting killed right in front of me. It was so horrific. And I'm like, get over here, get your dog now. I screamed that. And he snapped out of it and he ran over and he grabbed the backside of his dog and the dog released Tate. And Tate goes kind of like whimpering, you know, and his whole back leg is just bloody. And then the other dogs that I talked about earlier, Tiska and this other dog that I don't even recognize, it's a newer dog, big though, they come running over and I haven't gotten to Tate yet. He's in the curb kind of about to pass out um, across the street and these two big dogs come running over and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm about to lose my mind. I really thought I was about to lose my mind. Thank goodness I heard their owner calling them back. They tend to be obedient dogs and so they ran back. And I just like, ran home holding Tate, put him on my kitchen floor, started putting iodine and assessing um, his injuries. And then the owner came over, the, the mom came over. She was in the house, she didn't see any of it. I told her what happened. I mean, she, we were all just devastated, devastated. Um, I rushed him to the animal hospital. I was there all night. I didn't get home till like 10 p.m. And he came home with a drain. So today we're gonna go out right now um, in an hour and we're gonna get his drain out. And then he has stitches for two weeks. But you saw him and he's doing pretty well. He really is. You know, that that was saying things like, you know, watch his tissue cause it could die. And once it's it dies, there's nothing you can do. And you're just sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, his tissue could die. Does that mean he'll never walk again? Like you just, you don't know and it's so scary, isn't it? Um, so anyway, um, as I was waiting at the animal hospital, cause you have to wait in the car, they don't let you go in. Um, I feel like doing Demi on my eyes today and this is this color in, I think it's NG, let's see. This is NG, yeah. Neutral, I think it stands for neutral green, but it's kind of like a really pretty, I don't know, khaki brown, but there's a little warmth. It's really pretty. Anyway, I'm doing this because I know a lot of you don't like bronzer. So why would I put bronzer in my crease? I like the Demi because it looks like skin, even close up, it looks like skin. There's no like textury, powdery, crepiness going on because we already have crepey skin, sometimes powder shadows. Um, if they're not milled really finely, they can show some texture. So I like using Demi. Anyway, um, so they said, you know, of course we're going to pay the vet bill. And just so you know, we're going to put our dog down in the morning. And I just lost it. I just fell apart because remember, these are our good neighbors. This is a family. They are good, good people. They are very responsible dog owners. They take excellent care of their dogs. It was literally, it was a freak accident. That's what we all had to agree on. You know, we, we they, they came over the other night after they had put their dog down and I was like, no, you don't have to do that. They're like, no, we don't, we can't, we can't do this ever again. He had no, as far as they told me, he had no history of approaching dogs or being aggressive with dogs. The one on the leash has been aggressive with dogs, has gone up over after dogs. That's why he was on leash. The other one's never given anyone problems. And he's the one who attacked Tate. And they said, no, we, we cannot live through that again. So we're putting him down. 
So we were all pretty sad. Anyway, they came over that night, Tuesday night, to check in on him, and we were just all crying. We were just all four of us. It was just, it, it was one of those situations where you know, you're like, what if? Okay, now what if I had not taken him at that time? What if I had taken him earlier before people are home from work and letting their dogs out for a little bit? What if I had walked on the opposite side of the street? I would have had time to pick him up because I don't think he would have gone after me, but even if he had, you know, I could probably kick him or stop him or scream at him, you know? You, you know, and Jonathan was doing the same thing. Like, what if, what if? You know, you can what if yourself to death, right? But the fact remains, it happened, and nothing's going to change what happened. So, um, when I was at the dog hospital, I learned a lot about dog laws, and this I didn't know. You, even in your front yard, even in your driveway, your dog has to be leashed. It's the law because it can run into the public street where people are, you know, like, like Tate and I. And so they say, if you see a dog unleashed, call animal control because then animal control will, will fine it or take, you know, take a picture, take a video and send it to animal control because they will send a hefty fine to the owners so that the owners will keep that dog locked up. So I'm going to be doing that from now on. I'm unfortunately, I'm going to become the bitch of the neighborhood that is going to call everybody out. Um, I'll be calling animal control constantly because I can't live in fear in my own neighborhood. And I've even been chased a little bit by dogs before in my own neighborhood, just walking alone. And it's a scary feeling. So it's good to know we all learned a valuable lesson on my street, but unfortunately, you know, Tate got very, very injured. I've been laying on the couch with him for 24 seven. Um, I have a migraine because of it. I had to go to the chiropractor yesterday cause I have a reverse curve in my neck. And so I just, oh, I, I just really did a number on my neck. So yesterday, the last two days I have, I'm doing some NV plus one. Um, I have just had the worst migraine. The chiropractor helped a little bit, but then the migraine came back last night. I had it all night long every time I woke up or every time he stirred because he's real uncomfortable. Um, I could feel my migraine. Now, I'm really fortunate. I woke up this morning. I had a little bit of espresso. I'm now having some coffee. And my headache is gone, but I think I'm going to go back to the chiropractor tomorrow. So it's just been a really rough week. How has your week been so far? Tell me in comments how you guys have been doing so far this year. Uh, but, you know, last year I started my year with COVID. I found out on January 2nd. I, I was sick on January 1st, but it was a Sunday. And so on January 2nd, I said, you know what? I can't swallow. I have, I have strep throat. I've had strep throat before. And I, I called urgent care and they said, come in. And they tested me and they came in and told me I had the virus. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You know, the virus. I ha That's how I started last year. But then when I got well, I went right into making my Mature Makeup Masterclass. So it was a great year. It was a great year. So the fact that this started, you know, my year started with a vicious dog attack and a migraine. I'm like, it's only gonna get better from here, right? We just have to be positive. Okay, I am gonna put the tiniest bit of, I think, pretty shimmer on my eyelid. I know a lot of you don't like shimmer. I totally respect that. I just like a little bit on my eyelid, but I'm also gonna take some of this NV plus one and put it right here in my crease, like that. Isn't that pretty? A lot of you will ask like, oh, it's wax, does it stay on? It really does. Because of the pigment in it, it really stays on so well. But if you have um, a super, super hooded eye, or if you have um, an eye with tons of like droop or texture, I mean, I don't know, you would have to try it. You can send it back if it doesn't work, but it's one of those things that I just don't know. And if your eyes, eyelids really, really oily. Will it stay on? I, these are things I can't tell you even as a 25 year pro makeup artist, because 
I've had um, NV21 stay 12 hours on some people and not well on others. And you just don't know till you try. It's one of those things you just have to try. And by the way, we are out of so much Demi right now. I don't know what's going on. So we've been out of 01 and Y01 for a while, and I guess that's back in stock now. But now someone's telling me that 03 is almost out. I'm like, they're like, they're not discontinuing 03. I'm like, absolutely not. 03 is, it's a staple. It's peach, so it's gonna corrupt under eyes better than anything. So look at that, isn't that nice? I haven't blended it yet, but I will in a minute. Actually, maybe I can just take this brush that I used in the beginning. But see, do you see how that just kind of looks like skin and it doesn't look like I have a bunch of eyeshadow on? Not that there's anything wrong with eyeshadow, but sometimes I just like to look as skin-like as possible. Also, if you are new here, I'm a 25 year professional makeup artist. I didn't start my video with that because you know a lot of you are like, yeah, we know. Um, but I do have to give my credentials at the beginning of each video because I feel like people wanna know who I am and what do I have to offer? Why should I listen to you? And in a sea of so many reviewers, right? So many reviewers here on YouTube, I'm not necessarily a reviewer. I'm, an, I'm a mature beauty educator. There's a difference. Now I do review things. I, de I definitely review things. Do you see how I put that shimmer just right there? That's it, right there. And it just gives this like beautiful sheen without looking sparkly disco-y. By the way, I'm hearing that um, big time, big time um, frost is coming back. Not shimmer, metallics and frosts are coming back. Now, most of us aren't gonna be able to do that. That's okay. That's okay. I don't even know that I wanna do it, but I don't know, maybe in a year I'll be rocking a frosty lip. We just don't know, right? We don't know. We can't, never say never is what I've learned. So um, I'm gonna take a really light color for the inner eye. You know how much I love that inner eye to kind of be highlighted without looking too frosty disco-y. And that is, I believe that's Sabrina. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's Sabrina. Yeah, it's Sabrina. Okay, do you see how that inner eye? Now remember on my face so far, all I have is Bella bronzer. That's it, that's all I have. And look, I did Embryolisse before the video started because it's kind of a moisturizer and primer in one and so many of you have reported back that it's the winner under the Saint 3D. So I love it when I hear back from you guys. It really helps me. Um, anyway, so one of the reasons I immediately went on um, YouTube and TikTok on Tuesday is because I really, really believe in the power of prayer and I wanted as many people as possible praying for Tate. And you know, so many of you remember him last year in my videos, you know, jumping up to get things behind me, like makeup brushes and you know, all sorts of things. So he's a little, he's a little thief, he's a little stinker. Um, and I knew that you would all wanna know what was going on and I knew you would all pray. And I'm telling you something, I am telling you something with God as my witness. I know for a fact that your prayers are why he's doing so well. I know it. I know it. There's power in prayer. And so many people have been praying for him. And we we thought, oh, his, I mean, we don't know the, the ramifications for years to come. Like he could have early arthritis in the back leg. He, they said he's probably got soft tissue damage, but they didn't have an MRI. But you know, he's walking so well on it, other than the drain hanging out the side of the, the leg and the fact that he can't sleep on that side of his body because it still hurts. Um, he's walking so well, he'll even kind of jump up on me a little bit. So he's really doing well and I'll, I'll have more reports in the next couple weeks. By the way, this is an espresso. I am off Diet Dr. Pepper. I just don't think I can do it anymore. It was becoming a dependence. And if I didn't have it by 1 p.m. every day, I was becoming extremely agitated, like I wanted to kill my family. And that's not healthy. <laughs> 
that's not healthy. It is, a, it is a chemical, right? Sodas are chemicals. And my brain got used to this particular chemical. And I'm like, you know what? I'm the master of my own body. I, I get to, you know, take good care of my temple. It's, it's a, it's a blessing to take care of my temple, right? So I'm like, everything in moderation, but I can't do diet Dr. Pepper in moderation because, um, I'm addicted to the chemicals. If you aren't comfortable doing your waterline, watch this. If you put your finger like that, it lightly lifts it and then you can wiggle it in there. See, watch. It lightly lifts your waterline out a little bit and then you can really wiggle it. It also takes practice. Some people are real flinchy. So the people who are real flinchy are flinchy with waterline, but the more you do it, the more your eye gets used to it and then you don't have a reflex every time someone comes near your eye. Okay, that's my eyes. We're not going crazy today because we're going to the vet. I am gonna tell you this L'Oreal tele telescopic lift. It's so good. See, it's a flat brush comb and I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna like this, but they sent it to me. So I'm like, well, I'm willing to try it. Guess what? It's the only thing I took to California. I love it. First of all, it gets right to the root of the lash. And so many times you, you all will ask me like, how do I keep my eyelashes up? I've tried everything. I've tried eyelash curlers. I've tried this and that. Listen, this kept my lashes standing at attention all day long and it really adds volume to the lashes and I wasn't expecting it to. I really thought this was gonna be more of like lifting and, and length, but look at that. I loved it. I felt like I had extensions on my eyes when I was in California. I really love it. Now it's tricky to take off. This is not the waterproof formula. They do make a waterproof. Someone just told me that on TikTok. Um, but holy moly, at the end of the day, we're talking 10, 12 hours later, when you go to take your makeup off, my lashes were standing like the good little soldiers they're supposed to be. They were like standing at attention. So it's worth trying out. You know, if you don't like it, take it back. This is what I say, save receipts. I don't want you keeping something you don't like, even if it's Saint. I know 100% of the people aren't gonna love Saint. That's okay. That's okay. That's why I talk about other products on this channel because I want to help mature women with everything under the sun. Drugstore, Sephora, Luxury, and Saint. Saint's my favorite, obviously. But there are things I love about every line of makeup. You know what I decided to do? How about this Saturday, I do half my face in Saint and the other half in all my favorite traditionals. Let's do that. What do you think? I think I'm gonna do that. I was gonna talk on Saturday, my Saturday YouTube, about my upcoming face surgery, but because Tate was injured, I had to cancel my one month pre-op appointment. So now I'm going next week to my pre-op to learn everything that I have to do to get ready for this surgery on February 1st. Please pray for me. And um, so I'll talk about my surgery coming up. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty mascara? I think it's about 10 bucks, L'Oreal telescopic lift. And again, at the end of the day, they're all standing up. Okay, I'm gonna put on some color corrector under my eye. So I'm gonna go in with the O3. Guys, this is still the, look at this. This is still the same O3 that I have used for a year. <laughs> I kid you not. So, you use so little. You just use so little. So do you see how it's just right in where the blue purple is? I'm not putting it anywhere else. Only where the blue purple is. Because remember, this isn't covering, it's canceling. I can't drill that home enough. It's not covering, it's canceling. It's color canceling color. It's not meant for coverage. When I see people on this 
platform using it wrong. It makes me crazy. And they're not even open to learning the truth. And they spread misinformation. Anyway, you guys are all great little warriors out there representing Saint. Now I'm going to go in with 01. Because this is what I love to really brighten. Look at how that really brightens. And do you see that beautiful sheen? So even when I'm close up to someone, I look youthful. And then I kind of tap it out. But look at that. Do you see that beautiful sheen? It's just the prettiest product on the planet. I don't care what anyone else says. It's the prettiest product on the planet. Okay, speaking of Saint, let's get to let's get down to business. Okay. Last year, you know, was this is this has been like one year anniversary with me with Saint, but publicly I started talking about Demi in January of 2022 and by February I believe I was doing a video on the 3D side of it. And it just exploded. I didn't expect that. I was just trying to help women look pretty around the under eye as they age. I was not expecting any of this to skyrocket. And I'm so, so thankful and grateful to God for putting this in my path and putting my friend Amanda on TikTok to challenge me because that's why I ended up buying it. And I'm going to go in with some green, yellow one with my little red areas. So anyway, um, I never talk about the business side of it because sometimes that just makes people uncomfortable and I get it. I do. I, I, I do buy products. Like I just bought a hemp oil that really helps my family sleep well. Um, it's an MLM. It's called Green Compass. They, they grow organic hemp right here in, um, North Carolina. They're all organic. It's a family business, but it's an MLM. But I don't care because if I want a top-notch product, I don't care if it's an MLM, but I'm like, don't talk to me about the opportunity. I don't want to hear about the business. I don't want to be in your MLM. But oftentimes I will buy MLM products because they really are very good. They got a bad rap because shady people get into it and then they slide into your DMs and then they're like, hey girl, I know we haven't talked since high school, but you know, we all hate that. But Saint is the classiest company I've ever worked for. I was with Beachbody many years ago, and then I was with Prove It. Um, it's how I got in the best shape of my life for my 50th birthday. I was bodybuilding and drinking ketones and doing the keto diet, um, and I loved it. I was so passionate for about two years, and then my mom got sick and was dying of cancer, and suddenly none of that mattered to me. So I got, I let that fizzle out, and then I was like, I'm done. I'm not doing MLMs anymore. Then 2020 hit. We all went into quarantine and I didn't have a job. So Beauty Counter, who I've loved since 2015, I love Beauty Counter skincare. And people were like, oh, Beauty Counter was like, you can sign up for free. You can be a consultant and sign up for free. Well, I did it for the discount. I wasn't planning on selling it. I did it for the discount. And then I started talking about it on social media And everyone went crazy for it. And other people signed up on my team, even though I never talked about building a team. Um, they just did it because they liked me and they wanted to be aligned with me. And so that was really fun. And then um, Facebook closed down my ability to do live videos because I reported child porn. Can you imagine that? I was punished for reporting child porn. Meanwhile, the group that they closed down opened a day later under another name. So Facebook penalized me for that. And I'm like, you know what? I'll screw them. I hate Facebook anyway. I'm going to go over to TikTok. Remember, it was 2020. TikTok was pretty new. It, it had been an app called Musical.ly. And I know this because my daughter was on it. And for up two years, it was really young kids lip syncing. That's all it was. And then really funny humor came onto it. And then 2020 quarantine hit, people were home, they were bored. And I'll tell you, I've never laughed harder in my life than the year 2020 on TikTok. TikTok's not the same anymore. It's very different now, but that's how I started talking about Beauty Counter. And then I started getting brand deals. Brands liked that I was talking about mature content. And so um, I just realized I stopped doing my makeup. And so, um, 
I stopped talking about Beauty Counter because then I was just talking about all these other brands. I didn't get out of Beauty Counter. I just stopped talking about it. And um, yeah, and then, then um, about a little over a year ago, I think it was October 2021, um, Amanda Hill, who's gorgeous, I love her, she was talking about Demi um, because I had done a video telling women that yes, concealer creases, we have little lines under our eyes, concealer moves to those little lines, just pat it back out, it's not a big deal. And Amanda was like, actually, you know, I don't want to disrespect Michelle, but I have a product that doesn't crease and it looks like skin and it doesn't show texture. I'm like, and then some makeup artist came into my DM going, how dare she do, blah, blah, blah. I go, don't worry, don't worry, I'm gonna order it and prove her wrong. So I ordered three Demi, you know what I ordered? Boom, boom, boom. These exact three, I have been using these exact three for a year. All of this came later, 3D, all that came later. And then I loved it so much, I said, you know what, I'm gonna get the Demi Artist Palette. And I became an artist, really just to put this in my pro kit. I wasn't planning on selling this, but then I thought, gosh, it's so pretty. I should do a makeup for mature women on YouTube showing them how to have a beautiful under eye using this. I can't thank Amanda enough. Definite credit goes to God though, and that's a whole other story I'll tell you another time. But, okay, I'm gonna put on a little bit of candle lit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, because look, my face is looking pretty good, but you know, I'm looking a little unpolished in certain areas, so I'm gonna take a little bit of candle lit. Watch this, see how little I take? Watch this. So anyway, I don't talk about the opportunity. I do have artists on my team because women find me and they're like, ooh, I want a discount or ooh, I want to sell Saint to my family and friends. And they join without even telling me. We don't even have a conversation first. They just join. And um, what I've loved about 2022 here on YouTube is this mature community. Like I love our community. I love so many of you. Christy and Joyce and Karen and and Jill and Julie and I mean Lisa and there's so many of you who I see regularly. Morita. Um, I could go on and on with all the names but you know who you all are. You know who you are who tune in constantly and I just love our community and I thought you know what I want I want a community like this within saint oh, you guys i just hit pan on candle lit look do you see that i just hit pan and i've had candle lit since march april no february march anyway i don't use it every day so that's why i i'm really more of a demi girl but i do like 3d and then watch i'm gonna put some down here now, a lot of women will put a really light color down here but i don't because it'll show texture and we don't want to show texture right? We do not want to show texture. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video and come right back. Okay, sorry. It's easier if I break the video into segments. Much easier. So do you see how I'm just lightly, I'm just lightly touching it. I'm not picking up a ton of product and I kind of go in the cheeks and, you know, definitely down here so that I looked a little bit more polished I don't go in these areas too much because, you know, that shows a lot of my texture. Okay, do you see how I'm just looking more polished? And then I'm going to take my bronzer again. And then we'll take, you know, my favorite sponge. We'll take that. Anyway, okay, so on January 17th, we have our big sixth anniversary party. It's a big birthday party. We call it the Saint Birthday Party. And they are going to have tremendous deals if you want to sign up as an artist. And, you know, I wasn't that into it. I'm like, yeah, if people want to sign up, great. But I'm not going to really, like, go after people because that's not my style. And I would never try to talk someone into something. And I'm never going to promise you, oh, you could earn income. No, just if you want a fun, mature community and you love Saint, it might be a great idea to become an artist. 
It's that simple. And I'm going to kind of develop some kind of system that we can all be in there daily, weekly, monthly, where we can just kind of have fun together. You know, I really want a mature saint community on my team, really close women who all support one another, who all give each other great ideas, great tips um, in our demographic. And, you know, do you have to go on social media to, no, you don't, you get to do it however you want. If you just want to share with a couple family and friends, your love of this, great. If you just want to discount, great. If you, you know, are the type that, Ooh, I would love to have some of my closest friends over for wine and just show them this product or play one of my YouTube videos and sit around and, you know, have some wine or mocktails. Cause that's my thing. Mocktails. Um, you know, you could do that way. You know, it, it, it you get to do whatever you want. Now we take the stands out sponge and we blend it all together, right? We blend it all together. I love this. And I'm gonna go really natural today. And I'm gonna do, see, look at that. Do you see that? I'm gonna look close up, let me see. Yeah. See where I'm real textured? It literally, it's, it's so pretty and moist. It looks like I just have skincare on. It's so pretty. Um, normally, you know I love to do the R5 as my blush. It's really my favorite. with this shape brush, it's my favorite. I wear that probably 90% of the time, but I saw good old fashioned desert sunset and I thought, you know what? That's what I wanna wear today. I wanna wear some desert sunset. And I'm gonna use the opposite side of my bronzer and I'm just gonna go in. This is a gloss blush, which doesn't stay on most people as well. It stays on me really great, but it doesn't stay on most people as well, the gloss. But look at that beautiful sheen. I want to look cute at the vet today. I'm going to go up here. You know, I like to go on the outside of the eye to give kind of a cohesive look. Mm. I just love that. Real natural. We're going real natural. I've got my stripes on, so I'm feeling very French. This headband's going to make my hair a mess, but, you know, it's okay. Um, anyway, okay, so the, the big artist party is on January 17th, and you can find information if you go on Instagram and you go to the Saint page on Instagram, you'll see the information where the party's gonna be. It's actually not the Saint page, it's called Saint and Angels, and that's where the big party's gonna be. And it's literally from morning till night. There's um, really fun like raffle prizes and all that, okay? And I know if you sign up that day specifically, they give you like a really great deal. That's all I know. Now, here's what I wanna say. Um, if you are like, oh, I kinda would like to maybe think about it, we are having a giant, text party next week. It starts, I think, Sunday the 8th. If you DM me um, over on Instagram, DM me, okay? I guess you could email me to my personal email. Don't do color match by Michelle because that's just for color matches and follow-up questions. You could do my personal email, which is michellespieler at gmail.com, but I'd really prefer you going to Instagram and DMing me or go to Facebook and DM me and say, I wanna know about this text party. And then I will give you a code to text to and boom, you're automatically in. Now, it's not one of those group chats where ding, 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 all day you're long, every time someone comments, you're gonna hear notifications. It's not that, it's completely different. Um, but for a week, they're going to be talking about the business, um, different ways you can do the business, different um, income levels to get or different investments to get into the business. It's not expensive, though. And I don't Here's something that should make people feel good. We don't make money on the artist kits you buy. And I like that. So this is what I always do. I'm like, if you're not planning on doing like big parties in person, you don't need the big kit. Just get the entry level kit. 
Just get in with the entry level kit. I don't make money off of it anyway. So this way I'm not trying to, oh, you need the most expensive kit because you know I'm on the side making commission. No, I don't do that. I don't play that. I am the I am the least MLM person you're ever going to meet in your life. So what I really want to do is grow a mature community on my team this year, have a lot of fun, lock arms with really great women. Um, when I say mature, I mean, even if you're in your 30s, you're welcome. You'll be the teenager of the group. But, you know, that's really my hope and dream for this year. Last year, I killed it with retail. I just exceeded my expectations. Total glory to God for that. Blessing my income potential with Saint. This year now, I really want to grow community. That's real important. I'm going to continue growing community here on YouTube because this is my heart. I love the mature community here. I'm going to continue growing community on TikTok, although it's a little bit tougher over there. Um, I really feel YouTube is the most unique platform for me because I feel like it's the most personal and I really truly love you as my friends and I know that you feel I'm your friend like we're just sitting having a coffee together right thank you so much for the prayers for Tate I can't thank you enough um, I am real quick gonna do my lips and then I'm gonna get out of here and take him to the animal hospital this is my color pop but look it keeps Talking about color pop, it keeps popping out. If any of you have dogs that you let loose in your front yard and you think it's safe because it's in your front yard, or like us, you have a backyard but it doesn't have a fence. We really don't have any fences in my neighborhood. It's kind of a fence-free neighborhood. Anyway, uh, I want to encourage you because it's the law. I want to encourage you to keep your dogs on a leash. Just keep them on a leash. It's just not worth it. You'll have a huge vet bill if your dog hurts anybody or a hospital bill if it's a human or a child. And Animal control will put it on record. I mean, it's just, it's all, it's just, it's a lose-lose. There's nothing good that comes out of having your dog off leash. And I know I've heard some people say, well, that's not fair because it's my property and I should be, yeah, you're right. It is your property. But the minute that dog touches the street, that's public property and you can be sued. You can be sued for a lot of money. We would never sue our neighbors. We love them so much. And I'm so heartbroken that they had to put their dog down. And I told them it wasn't necessary. And they said, we can't live through something like that ever again. I mean, it really, when I say they're more devastated than me, I'm not exaggerating. They're more devastated than me. Um, okay, so there we go. There is my saint face of the day. I might do a little lower mascara. Look. See how pretty this is close up? Um, okay, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna tune in to, you're gonna tune in to the Saint and Angels Instagram page on the 17th. I might even do a sign up. I might do a sign up link for everyone so you can just click a link and then sign up so I know that you're interested. You're not committing to anything. It's just so I can have a record of who's interested so no one gets lost. And then you are going to DM me starting right now, Instagram or Facebook. You can DM me and you can tell me that you're interested in the text party and I'll give you the code and all you're going to do is text the, the code and instantly you'll be in this text party that starts Sunday. And I promise you, it's not going to be 500 people commenting and you're like, oh my gosh, shut up. My phone's driving me nuts. It's not going to be like that. Okay. I promise. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it myself because I've never been in a Saint text party. So, you know, we're all in this together for the first time. I can't wait. Anyway, that's it for now. I thank you so much for being here. I thank you so much for praying for Tate. Um, if you have any questions, put them in comments. I know I was kind of all over the place today, but after two days of migraine, I'm just like brain dead. And then, you know, I've just been glued to his side for 24 seven. He's never even two feet from me. So, um, 
he's been my job this week. And so I apologize for not getting this out on a Wednesday. I always do my saint videos on Wednesday at five o'clock. And my traditional videos are always Saturday at 8 a.m. And this Saturday I am gonna do half my face in my very, very favorites and half my face in Saint. And let's see how it turns out. I can't wait to see myself. I think we I think we kind of all know who the winner's gonna be, but you know, not everyone can wear Saint makeup, so I wanna give them other options, okay? Talk to you soon.